Harry O'Reilly Skell, June 29, 1921, May 13, 1960, was an American Grand Prix motor racing driver. Early life, Skell was born in Paris, France, the son of expatriate American and sometime auto racer Larry Skell. His mother was the wealthy American heiress Lucy O'Reilly. O'Reilly was an auto racing enthusiast who had met Larry while visiting France. They soon became familiar names on the rallying scene together. She became heavily invested in the Delahaye concern, first campaigning sports cars for them and then championing the development development of a Delahaye Grand Prix car, which she ran under the Acurie Blue banner. Frenchman René Dreyfus won the 1938 Pau Grand Prix for the team in a shock upset over Mercedes, but the Delahaye project failed to raise the necessary backing and was never developed to its full extent. Shortly before the outbreak of the Second World War, Shell's parents were involved in a road accident in which Larry was killed and O'Reilly severely injured. When France was occupied by Germany, Skell and his mother returned to America, where Skell took on the running of two Maseratis at the 1940 Indianapolis 500. Having already volunteered in the Finnish Air Force during their winter war with Russia in 1939, Harry then earned a commission in the United States Tank Corps when America entered the Second World War. Racing career. Skell went on to race in Europe, driving Coopers in Formula 3, Formula 2 and even the Formula 1 World Drivers' Championship upon its inception in 1950. His first appearance was in a Cooper powered by a JAP, V-twin engine at Monte Carlo. It ended in an accident at the harbor chicane that involved the majority of the field. Though Skell never won a championship Grand Prix and enjoyed life as a playboy and womanizer, he was highly respected in period. He twice stood on the podium with a best place of second in the 1958 Dutch Grand Prix, won the Cannes Grand Prix of 1956, and balanced those with periodic sports car outings. He partnered with Sterling Moss in securing a second place at the 1957 12 Hours of Sebring, and took third place at the same event in 1959. His most notable spells in Formula One came for BRM, Van Wall, and the Maserati factory effort as a subordinate to the five-time champion Juan Manuel Fangio. He also drove for Scuderia Ferrari for a single run at the 1955 Monaco Grand Prix. Skell carved out a reputation as a safe and prudent competitor and could be counted on as a consistent points scorer, but he also proved his class when the opportunity presented itself. In the 1954 Spanish Grand Prix, he took the lead from the start in his private Maserati and drove off into the distance before spinning out of first place and then retiring with a transmission failure. At the 1956 French Grand Prix, he relieved an ill Mike Hawthorne after his own Van Wall had gone out with an early engine failure and drove back into second position. The Ferrari team, operating under the assumption that Skell was a lap adrift, had been caught out, and a dramatic fight for the lead ensued, but Shell's effort went for naught as he was forced to make a lengthy pit stop soon after. He had succeeded, however, in displaying the full potential of the Van Wall on the world stage for the first time, driving a Ferrari 375 Indy for Luigi Cianetti's North. North American racing team at the 1958 Race of Two Worlds, Skell joined Phil Hill, Scuderia Ferrari 296 Dino, and Maston Gregory, a Curiacasi Jaguar D-Type, on the Monza High Banking as the only American drivers not entered in an American championship car. By the start of 1960, and nearing 40, Shell's prospects appeared dim, and he campaigned a private Cooper run under his family's Acuri Blue banner. That changed, however, when he was contracted by the British Racing Partnership team before the start of the European Grand Prix season for a full program of events, to be teamed with Tony Brooks and the up-and-coming Chris Bristow and year-old Coopers. Skell died in practice for the non-championship international trophy event at Silverstone in 1960, when he crashed his Cooper at Abbey Curve. Skell was driving at approximately 100 miles per hour when his car slid into the mud on the side of the track and lost a wheel. The Cooper somersaulted and penetrated a safety barrier, causing a brick wall to collapse. Prior to his death, Skell had been extremely vocal in the promotion of the roll bar on European racing cars, a safety feature required in America. By the 1500cc Formula of 1961, it had become standard in Formula 1. Complete Formula 1 World Championship Results. Key. Shared drive per second. Non-Championship Formula 1 Results. Key. 